To do a, a whirlwind tour of some of your books, uh, you have a book on corpses. Uh, if you could chat with the dead, what would you ask them? Oh, I, if I could chat with the dead. Are we assuming that the, the, the personality or the body? Well, both. The corpse? The corpse. You could chat. If, oh, um, is this a... Is this a research corpse? Or is it's this a research is, corpse. It's a research corpse, yeah. okay. Just defining our <laughs> parameters here. If you could talk with a, with a research corpse, okay, I know, I know what I would ask. I, I would say, because this is my, you know, as somebody who wrote this book stiff about medical cadaveric research, it kind of behooves me to donate myself, and yet I still trip over that image. Instead of having the image of my husband tears coming down, scattering ashes over the Pacific, which is quite lovely and romantic. I have first year medical students eating a sandwich and like <laughs> looking at, girls, look at her skin here. It's really, you know, that. I, so um, what I'd say to the cadaver is, um, is, this all, is this embarrassing for you? Are you okay with this? I mean, are they treating you respectfully? Do you wish you had some clothes on? <laughs> One of my friends, Robin Hansen, is always trying to talk me into having my head frozen either before I die, <laughs> when I'm dying, after I die. Depends on your view of death. And he says the amount of money I would have to spend on this, it might be a small chance of being revived in the distant future, but I have no better way to spend the money. Does this argument convince you or does it disgust you? <laughs> uh, to be just ahead. Just yeah, ahead, just but ahead. with a chance well, no, with a of chance. resurrection. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. No, it doesn't, <laughs> no, because not only, first of all, they've got to solve the whole, uh, you know, freezing, thawing, and, and that's going to destroy the cells. You know, they, you, you get, right now, what can they do? Like, one layer of cells freeze and thaw, right? You, you know, your basic sperm and egg, you got that right. freeze, thaw. But a whole head, um, I just don't see that coming anytime soon. And then, to reatta although reattaching... And then, like, the spark, how are they going to, like, it's not like you pull the cord on the lawnmower and <laughs> rev the thing up again. I'm not, sh I'm not sure. I think it's, uh, and, and you know what else, you know what's interesting about cryogenics, is that what, cryonics? Yes. I never know if it's cryogenics or cryonics. Uh, a lot of interesting legal issues, because if you, you believe, those people who've done that, believe they're coming back, they don't, they feel like they're in suspension and they're not dead, and that one day they will be back, and they're going to need their cash to live. So their, their heirs, their estates, like, this is my money, but, the, but legally they're, they're saying they're not dead, so... The power of compound interest, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Who gets that money, yeah.